What's up, y'all? It's your girl Mari, and we're back with another video. We're in the bathroom because we're about to do a makeup tutorial. So, y'all finally finished to see how do I make up, and um, yeah. So let's just go ahead and get right to the video, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join the whole gang. So first, I start off with a clean face, and then I. Then I take my, um, I usually put on some sunscreen. So, you know, just a little bit of sunscreen. Like this. And I just put this on to protect my skin underneath my makeup. Because if you don't protect the skin underneath, your dark spots get really bad. So, yep, put on your moisturizer. Bam, you know what I'm saying? Make it look a little good. Um, I gotta wet my sponge, hold on. About to do our brows. So, I just take this pencil. So yeah, I take this pencil, just any brown pencil will do. And I just do my brows, so I line them up. You know, do your brows. And I might do an eyebrow tutorial if y'all know how to do your brows, but do your brows, okay? All right? And then we're about to fill them in and brush them out. So fill them in. And then I don't put a lot of product in the front because the product in the back is going to go to the front and it's going to look. It'll do the job for you. So then give you a little spoolie. Something like this. A little spoolie. And then I just fade this out like so. And then just run through the back a little bit. And it might look a little messy but you're going to clean it up. So it doesn't even matter. Fade this part out. And you know. Look like that, like that. So then you look, you then look a little messed, right? Let me clip my hair back. So they look a little messy. So then that's when you take um, any of your concealers or your foundations or whatever, and you just uh, clean them up. So I put this is my Pro LA Pro Girl Concealer in Warm Honey. This is number eighty-two. I just take a little bit. And I put it under my eye. I don't really do the top, but like if you want to, you can. But if I do the top, I just use like whatever's left. I don't squeeze nothing new out. So then I take a brush like this. Like a little, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little rounded flat brush. And then I just like, you know, clean them up. And this is how you get perfect brows. You don't even have to really do your brows to use like the concealer part because some people use concealer when they just have natural brows but it just make your brows look clean like it really helps so this is what it should look like should get them nice and just run over to the other side I just go on the bottom then I run over the top with the extra product I don't put nothing new and this eye is a little harder for me, so I just try to like get it as best as I can. So yeah, then we got this eye and that eye. So it should look like so. Mm. So then you take your sponge and just like pat it out. Pat it out. This is a real technique sponge, by the way. Y'all, this wig makes it a little bit hard to do my my makeup, so bear with me. Cause I gotta go around my hairline like very carefully. But yeah, just pat this out. And show the light it is. That's how you get the brows. So then we're moving on to foundation. And I use the Maybelline uh Super Stay in number 334. 
3.30 and 3.20. But right now I'm about to only use the 3.20 and the 3.34. See, I'll be using her, be using her. Look. So I just put some 3.20 like around on my little face. Put a couple drops. Then I take some 3.34 and put a little bit of that on my face too. Then I take my sponge, this sponge, and I use the flat part. And I just pat it in all over. And when you put your foundation on, you wanna pat. You don't wanna um, like swipe, but you wanna just pat it in. And you're gonna look a hot mess, girl. Hot mess. But it's gonna all come together. And make sure you blend it in with your hairline. And y'all, forgive me, this white is a little orange, but you know, my bathroom just ain't all that. So, we gonna have to work with what we got. <laughs> but I put it all over, and I'll do my little forehead. I put a little bit on the forehead because you could put the rest of the product from the, uh, the face on your forehead. So you don't really need to do too much to the forehead. Just blend it out. So yep. Then I keep, I just make sure it's all in my skin. I go over my eye, blend my uh, my highlight in with the foundation. So then, look like this. All padded in and stuff. And you're gonna match. It's, if you find the right foundation, you'll match your neck. You don't really gotta do all that. So then I take my concealer. And this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Medium Dark. And so, I'm a little out of, that, out of this, but I just take the little stick and I put some like right up under my eye. Like this, and I do the same thing on this one. And I just put it like right under my eye. And I put a little bit on my nose, on the bridge of my nose, see what I'm saying? And just like a little bit on my chin. And then I take my contour, my contour color in the LA Pro Girl. This LA Pro Girl in Beautiful Bronze. And I take this and I put this like right here. And on my nose. So then I do my contour first. So I take the same part that I used for the foundation and I do the contour and I just blend it out and it should blend really good and I'll do the same on the other side just like this now when you have a big forehead you want to contour a lot but like when you have a small forehead you don't you don't really want to contour so you should do this. And I just don't really do my forehead right now because I don't have a wig on, so that's why I don't do my forehead. But um, I just don't do my forehead. So, yeah. So now, we're about to do the nose. And I just take like a little brush. It's literally called a contour brush. But it's from e.l.f. and it's called, well, actually it's for your eyes, but I use it because it's like a little brush, it's so cute. And it just fits right on my nose. And I just blend it into my eye, like so, into the crease. And then I just run it through my nose and I just like push it down. And I do the same on the other side. Now this gives my nose the illusion that I had surgery. Like girl, it make your nose look snatched. Contour your nose, make your nose look so snatched. So that's how I do that, see? So then I blend out my highlight. And I just, you know, keep, everything is a pat, is a pat. So you just pat everything in, like nothing is a swipe. Unless you have to swipe, but I don't swipe. And then I do my eye. And I just go like right up under my eye crease. Try to keep it like right under your eye. And then, once you do this eye, you go to the other eye. Make sure you blend it in with the contour. We're gonna blend this out. See, we already looking put together, girl. Look. 
Bam. Then I take whatever is left on my sponge and I go under my contour. Just to like, you know, give me that extra oomph of my face to snatch. You know what I'm saying? Some people contour their forehead, some people don't. I technically don't have to because my forehead is not small. But I don't want it to look any bigger because I just don't. So that's how I do that. And then we're gonna go on to powder. So the powder that I use is Maybelline um, in light medium number 20. And it's like, it's, it just melts on my skin like butter. And I use my sponge cause I can, and I clean my sponge every day. So make sure your, your uh, concealer is all the way, like, you know, pat it into your face and then take one pat, one pat and put the powder and put it on the back of your hand, make sure you get all of it. And then I just go like right where I put all my highlight. So like right up in here. Go back in, pat it off. Then I go right up in here. And I go around my mouth area. Cause it'd be so much powder when you do that. And I just go like right by my chin and my laugh lines. And then I go like around this area a little bit. This is where I swipe. I just lightly go over it a little bit. Cause this part don't really need too much attention on my face. But and I do my nose, my little forehead, my eye. And then I'm done with the powder. Then I just go over with some contour powder. And my contour powder I use is by Too Faced. It looks like this. And this is in chocolate gold. And it's just so, it smells, it smells just like chocolate. And it's so good. And I use um, like this wet my brush. But it's like a big old brush that's like for contour. And I just put a little bit of that on my brush. Cause I broke it so it's kind of like crumbly. And I just make sure you pat it off. I don't even need it a lot because it just works that good. So pat some off. And then I just go like this. Like I'm gonna put like three pads. The other side too. And then I just run it over my nose a little bit to go over the cream contour. To give me more of an effect. So then you're basically done, right? After that, you put on your highlight. Everything I use is Maybelline. I should get sponsored, but everything I use is Maybelline. So this is Maybelline highlighter. This is the Master Chrome by Face Studio highlighter. And it's in 100 Molten Gold. I love this highlighter. And as you can tell, I love this highlighter. So at first I do my nose. I just take like this little flat brush and I just put like some on the tip of my nose, just so my nose looks like like moved off, but just with highlighter. And then I take my highlighter brush, and it looks like this is called a fan brush. And I just put a little bit on there, pat it off, and you should just smile. And like the top of your chin, your cheek is where you put it. And so then, that's that. I usually put some under my eyebrow bone, but I didn't really feel like doing all that, so. Oh no, okay. So, eyeliner is on, you know, your girl looking a little orange on this camera, but it ain't doing me just with me. I look good. I'm going to show you after. And then now, we're going to move on to the lips. So, any lip liner, lip pencil, anything you want to use for your lips, it, it just line it. Like, girl, 
You ain't even gotta have nose pencil product. Cause I use eyebrow pencil. I don't care. But I line my lip at the bottom and just go over the top. And like these, right? Mm-hmm. I got my lips done. And then I add my favorite, favorite, favorite lip gloss on top of this. And it is the NYX Butter Gloss. NYX Butter Gloss. In the color Creme Brulee. And y'all, it goes so perfect with this, with my skin color and like my everyday makeup look and it just like it's so buttery and it goes good with this uh lip liner like the colors go together but i put it all over pucker her up and boom don't she look good So yeah, so then you really be done. Like I ain't even gonna cap to y'all. You really be done. This is really the face. Like you ain't gotta do nothing else. You could put on some lashes, but I haven't really been wearing lashes lately, so we ain't gonna do all that. But you know, this really the look. Like I'm finna show y'all. I'm just put on some mascara, and I just use Maybelline's. Uh, Big Shot, Colossal Big Shot mascara. When I just put on eyeliner like this, I just put on a little bit of mascara. And I don't even like mascara, but when I don't have no eyelashes, I gotta do some. So, we're gonna put a little bit of mascara on. And I got long eyelashes, I just don't like wearing them, you know what I'm saying? I like wearing my falsies. But, I would curl my lashes and stuff, but I just don't feel like it. So yeah, we put on some mascara. Yeah, it's just a little quick tutorial, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, this is your finished look. Let me put my hair down. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all look close. Let me show y'all look close. Let me show y'all in better lighting too so y'all can really get the feel for this look. Like, girl, baby. They smash my neck, period. Y'all just don't understand. So yeah, this is the final look. This is a quick little makeup tour because I gotta go somewhere, so I'm trying to hurry up and get up out of here. But you know what I'm saying, gotta look like a baddie before I go. So, yeah. But yeah, love y'all. See y'all later. Make sure you subscribe to the Lord Gang and make sure you go like and comment on this video. Just tell me what other videos y'all want to see from me. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, but.